Hey guys, what's up? Josh here. So today I wanted to talk about making it in art as an introvert without having to shout from the rooftops. So I've personally navigated from a very quiet solitude to a place where my work does most of the talking for me and I've done it without flashing a neon sign over my head or setting any dumpster fires for attention. So my story here, this story, actually kicks off during uh, my, my solitary nights when I lived in Austin, Texas and worked as a security guard. So it was actually my job not only to work alone most of the time, so it was isolating, but if I did see people, it was my job to tell them to go away. Now, this solitude became an unintended training ground. So I got to sketch and scheme and lay down the, the tracks to where I am today. So fast forward a few years and I'm back in Kentucky, my hometown, and I decided to start tattooing. Now this is a very stark contrast to those night shifts in Austin, Texas, because I had to be seen, not just for me, but because I had to make ends meet for my family. Now, first, this was a real grind because I was starting from scratch in a town that had moved on and forgotten about me. So finding my tribe again meant making connections and I, I had to let the art lead the way here. So the real game changer here was realizing that each new client that I tattooed was an opportunity for a new relationship. So I, I took cues from specifically Derek Sivers and I doubled down on making strong personal connections. I made it a point to remember names and stories and make these follow-up connections by texting or messaging my clients. And it turned a lot of my clients into real friends. Eventually, I even found like value in flash events, which historically for me have been very draining. But I did find a silver lining because they were practice sessions in making connections in the middle of chaos. So the lesson here that I'm, I'm really trying to communicate is that being visible isn't necessarily about a radical overhaul of your personality or being the center of attention. It's about creating genuine one-on-one -on -one connections through your interactions. Now, the easiest way to do this for, for me is, is really just listening, listening to the person in front of you. Uh, ask a lot of questions and you are suddenly the most interesting person ever. Even though you're not sharing anything about yourself, you're just being curious. So for my fellow introverts that really dread the spotlight, remember that your art can actually do a lot of the talking for you. And there are platforms like YouTube that can be real game changers because YouTube for me, it, it lets me share my work and my thoughts without the pressure of being on all the time or being on stage physically in front of a crowd. It's, it's given me the opportunity to connect with many people without the pressure. Yeah, it's, to me about finding a place where you can have a meaningful presence and not worry about being everywhere with with some sort of omnipresence so if you're thinking about stepping out of your hiding spot my best advice is to just start small share one piece of art and start to gather a community because your art it deserves an audience and your insights whatever they are deserve to be shared and, and not just for applause or attention, but for the real connections that you can make just by sharing your world. So it's no small feat to, to bury your soul.
especially through uh, tattoos, that's that's really intimidating. But take it from someone who's been where you are. It's incredibly rewarding. So, yeah, that's that's my spiel. So here's to us, the quiet ones, the thinkers, the introverts. Let's let's commit to bringing our craft into the light, into a spotlight in our own way. Yeah. So I'm here because I believe in the impact of, of art and the power of authentic connections. And I really want you to feel that too. So if this journey resonates with you at all, jump on into the comments and let's keep the conversation going. Uh, if you enjoy my insights, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, keep creating, keep connecting, and most importantly, stay true to who you are as a person, not just an artist. So until next time, keep drawing, painting, writing, singing, or dancing your hearts out, and we'll talk soon.